तो नमस्ते वेलकम टू डे फाइव ऑफ हनुमान मास्टर ब्रेथ रिलीफ फ्रॉम फाइब्रोमायलजिया साइटिका वेरिकोज वेन्स एंड ऑल्सो अदर बैक एक pain chronic back aches as well or other kinds of pains and so on and so forth so you've done four days of uh, uh, this technique the hanuman master breath i trust na ye aasha karta hu ki aap logon ki achhi movement shuru ho gayi hai of the breath up the spine yadi ye movement shuru hui hai to kuch kuch aapke notice mein aapke awareness mein shayad aayi hogi you may you may have noticed a few things If you have anything to share, please do share. Uh, uh, yes, yeah. Yeah, so. uh, actually, uh, such physically, uh, I don't know whether I've noticed much changes, mm -hmm. but uh, the uh, Hanuman Master Breath. What you thought? Now uh, mm -hmm. it is becoming easy day by day uh, mm -hmm. to uh, you know understand and you know be make it a part of life. because um, uh, first time uh, as and when we started uh, inhaling from uh, down to Until up but then exhaling again from down to up was a little confusing for the first day because mm -hmm. inhaling would come and exhaling would go down yes. uh, you know so consciously uh, i have to say that you know inhale exhale both mm -hmm. from top down to top yes. but uh, today i felt that uh, even without consciously understanding um mm -hmm. that i i was able to do it the, that way that you instructed yeah that change Excellent. i could see today very good and uh, your major problem is varicose veins am i right yes sir how long have you had this issue with varicose veins uh actually as such uh, pain as such started during the corona times uh okay. because uh, like uh, we wouldn't have maids at home so long hours of standing in the kitchen and other work at home so during corona time it started much but uh, then uh, when it became a little severe then i had to think about what to do like you know not standing for a long time continuously and whenever i sit i raise my leg up and sit true so uh, yeah some uh, basic changes in lifestyle um so it, that uh, kept me uh, but still if now also uh, if I, i get to stand for a long time or sit mm. for a long time with the legs mm. hanging down um, mm. then i can see the um, pain in my uh, yeah very close veins yeah basically in my left leg right leg is uh, not, i know relatively I, I better that much only in my left leg i have this issue uh, yeah and uh, you i mean the impact was noticed during the covid times but yes. did you know that your uh, that varicose veins had started affecting you earlier yes actually i didn't have pain but i just could see it after my second pregnancy okay. uh, yeah the how long, how long second, ago uh, I, now she is 14 years old second daughter oh, is 14 years old okay so uh so that time it was very mild like one green yeah. color bulge in my left thigh on the side oh. uh, uh, and doctor said after pregnancy it would just go away but uh, it didn't go <coughs> but i never had any pain as such only um, i could see the um, veins the outside veins. little mm -hmm. bit yeah in my thigh mm -hmm. left thigh but mm -hmm. pain as such started only 2 uh, 3 years before yeah so you you notice this in the inner thigh or the outer thigh outer thigh outer thigh okay yes. and uh, slowly it started growing and spreading yeah. and yeah. Uh, became yeah. worse okay. now also and, it is not that it is uh, um, very severe big and as such mm. when you think see pictures of varicose veins it's not that mm. bad but mm. uh, here and there in mm. my near my calf muscle behind my mm. knee mm. and in the ankle i can yes, see the green uh, where yes. portions uh, yes. so these are the three places that i can uh, see and, uh, and feel the they, pain and do they tend to be very thick uh, and uh, not in my ankle though but in my okay. thigh it is I, if i touch and feel i can actually can feel, feel it that. outside okay. yeah it's and not also, very thick and big and also behind the knees i think 
yeah behind mm-hmm. the knee uh, on my on top of my calf muscle yes 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 yeah. Yeah, that is the area that seems to be more. yeah and uh, well i hope it's still very early naturally but if you are noticing even like one paisa two paisa change <clears throat> in the pain or you know discomfort that itself is a very good sign that you know it's working uh, well for you so notice that if it is coming okay, okay sir aruna ji i didn't see you yesterday but you had already told me and uh, so you been able to watch the video and do the practice i watched the video but it didn't practice yesterday and today also i okay. will practice from tomorrow uh, oh, two days oh. <laughs> so two days practice. no practice <laughs> okay <laughs> all right no worries uh, aditi ji all well for you hanuman oh, master bet happening yeah. better now yeah it's when i'm home it's better in the office it's i have not been able to no worries so as you continue doing it it will become easier vasanthi ji any change in your sciatica it has a one paisa two paisa 1% 2% any change yeah you are you are on mute you have to unmute vasanthi ji your sound you tell it because i was coughing okay oh. so the right side the pain has stopped but it has shifted to left okay okay And the severity and is less. The severity is less. That yeah. severity, oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. like we discussed yesterday, the yeah. pain tends to move, and that's a good sign. So, don't worry about it. But it's as long as the, in the morning session, there was a very less pain in the right, and when mm. I uh, went up on the stair, I used staircases, and in in that time, that time it shifted to left. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. A little But, moment. Uh, yeah. 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 But earlier you never had any pain in the left leg. Never, never. But earlier it was only in the right leg. Only in the right. Right. So now don't let that scare you. I already warned you that something like this happens. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, and I'm glad I I warned you because then you know then your mind will not be able to play games with you. Yeah. And and if you feel that there is a little reduction, that itself is a very very good sign. A reduction so is there. Yeah, yeah, reduction is there. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, these are the two signs I had indicated that you will probably notice. So that is perfectly all right. Very good. Uh, Aditi ji, I don't think uh, is there something you wish to say? Yeah, something, and that has nothing to do with anything physical, bodily. Okay. Okay. But then I was not in any pain, as you are aware. So, uh, but then the uh, ever since we've started with this, I'm generally yeah. able to take things better. Wow! Oh, so excellent. things that were irritating me or problems in office where I would have been like, "What do I do? Do I pull yeah. my hair?" I find myself <laughs> yeah. able to laugh at those game. things again, which was, was which is a big change. Yes, yeah, that's wonderful. I mean, wonderful. it was like now I feel that it it's me. Now the yeah. person that I see in the chair, that's me. That's, <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> yes, yeah, see, see energy. the movement of energy how well energy is moving through you makes a very very big impact huge impact and in this uh, hanuman master breath plays a beautiful uh, role because it's actually creating conditions for a very smooth movement of energy throughout the body so it's doing a wonderful thing that and by the way can i ask you what exactly is the name of your condition uh, which causes that imbalance and so on spinal cerebellar ataxia ah spinal cerebral ataxia cerebellar so cerebellum cerebellum okay okay yeah. ataxia okay. so it's ataxia and, so and this has talk, and this creates an imbalance uh, i mean sometimes it can create a number of things or different oh. things in different people okay okay Where it has affected me the most is in terms of balance and in terms okay. of eyesight Okay. with some people they lose their or they their uh, ability to speak gets impacted oh so they I might see. not be able to speak and so so thankfully i mean two important things my ability to speak and my yes. ability to Most read these yeah. are two things that i value <laughs> eyes they are giving me a tough time but at least the speech thing is not yes initially i think you had some problem with the eyes i think that is what had uh, 
Vasanti yeah. ji very worried about you. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was very much an eye problem. It was in fact okay. the eyes that kind of made me think that this can't be normal because I can't okay. go to all of uh, calmologists yeah. and they tell me that everything is fine. Yeah. So that's it. Yeah. So that's good. Now continue doing this, and uh, you, of course you can do any other pranayam techniques, etc., that uh, are allowed or you know that you practice, etc. But as yeah. you uh, use the techniques that you've learned here in the last three four days. Mm -hmm. You'll you'll find that uh, they're helping you quite substantially. And like I said, the first day, you know, when you were here, uh, mm -hmm. you breathe the Hanuman Master Breath automatically on your own in that MRI uh, machine. So it's like you know, Hanuman Ji has already taken you under his <laughs> wings, so to speak. So you're lucky you, uh, okay. it's happened to you. And I think that's a very clear indication that you should continue with it. See, sometimes, you know, when there are serious health conditions, etc., I need to be a little careful about, you know, uh, what breathwork techniques I suggest or recommend, etc. Because, see, breathwork is a very powerful thing. Usually the result is good. Effect is good. But each individual is so much of a unique thing, you know. It's very hard to say with certainty that this is good for you. But overall, I think, you know, it's just such a powerful uh, system, which seems to usually have no negative effect, usually. But uh, again, you know, everything needs to be done in a balanced way and internalized slowly, gradually. So this is what we are doing. We are doing the Hanuman Master Breath gradually, in, uh, intentionally, you know, allowing this to happen. As cleansing happens, once you've done this for a few months, maybe, and as you find that, you know, it's the the flow of breath up the spine has actually become very smooth relative to how it started, then you can actually start increasing a little pressure or you using a little more intensity, which means you actually do the pull with a little more strength. You know, you actually do that pull. All zor se tani usko. And it will be very effective, but don't do it yet. Let your let your body, let your systems get used to it. Let the flow happen. Let it see because nadis which you have not used so far or used enough so far, we don't want to suddenly put too much, you know, uh, pressure or uh, stress on them. Dhire dhire karte 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 karte, automatically a certain amount of cleansing will happen and a certain amount of ease will come into your system. Belly breathing will help you with the ease. Hanuman master breath will help you with the channel. This is basically it. So let's do, apne, shall we lie down and do our uh, Hanuman master breath and the belly breathing combined? Remember yesterday, we had used a little bit of physical movement in the belly button area, right? We had physically used our fingertips to just kind of add a little opening, so to speak, as if widening the uh, the Manipura Chakra. Okay. We'll do it in a Viparita Karni? A Viparita Karni, yes. Okay. It won't harm you, so it's okay. Arunaji, all well? Everything is good? But up to since two days you've not done anything, I can't, you know, I can't, uh, I don't think you've noticed too much. So I've not asked you anything. But if you have something to share, you're welcome to do so. Om. Sorry, we forgot our ohms today. We can do the ohms now, if you like. Yeah. Yeah. Lie, you can do it. Lie down you can do it. Get yeah, up. You can. You can do it lying down also if you like. No problem. Okay. If as long as your body can handle it, close your eyes, relax your body, the belly particularly. Slow deep breath. Eyes focused at the agya, forehead. Uh... Oh, my God. 
the vibrations when you do it? Yes. Ah, aye, very good. Aruna ji, you want to do Vipreet Karini yes. with the breath? You you want to put your legs up uh, up against the wall? If you can, if you like, you can use a little cushion, a thin cushion under your uh, lower back. Otherwise, as you like, whatever is comfortable. Aditi ji. I wanted to ask if it's okay if I keep my uh, legs folded at my knees. Folded? Uh, yes. Folded. Yeah. Okay. But it's just that Vipreet Karini is a very relaxing asan, which you, I think, mentioned also. I, I, I like it, but I think yeah. I need to, tomorrow I'll get something softer underneath. Yes. Because yes, yes. this yoga mat is not thick uh, enough. strong as in, yeah, oh. not thick enough. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, by all means. So when you when you lie down and you uh, fold your legs and point your knees to the ceiling, it's a very relaxing posture anywhere. Yeah. Keep your belly relaxed. Use your fingertips at the just below the belly button area and like a window, just open gently to help you with the inner thing. You are doing it internally also, <clears throat> but you can add this as well. Om. Yeah, you can do the Om chants as often as you want. Mirato almost all day long it continues. Uh, obviously not continuously, but uh, with breaks. And uh, I find it very... Mm. What should I say? Interesting? Or, or should I say something? Uh, it's very... I just love it because of the, because of the vibrations. your belly very rela relaxed the more re re the more relaxed the belly the better your breath will move up the spine mm. now let me share something about the movement up the spine there are traditions there are people who teach techniques to breathe down the spine so they may be 
uh, doing the reverse of what we do. And while I would not like to comment on what others share, teach, and their logic and their reasons, etc., I would uh, recommend very strongly to ensure that you breathe up the spine almost as a practice at least for 8-10 years. The reason is the reason is the the different chakras are located up along the spine through which the sushumna passes. When we do this breathing up the spine, we are, in a sense, creating a pathway for energy to move upwards. But once the channel is open, energy can move down and up easily, no problem. However, if someone tends to breathe down, then in the process of breathing down, they may end up creating blockages in the lower chakras. So once these blockages are created in the lower chakras, a double action happens. See, notice, usually we tend to be more attracted to anything that lowers our vibrations. We tend to be attracted to things that are, you know, lower vibrations generally, rather than those things that are of higher vibrations. So there is almost like a sense of gravity or like gravitational pull, even in a thing like this. So we tend to be, you know, more easily attracted to something that is negative, something that is not really to our uh, welfare and so on, for our well-being and so on. So this is one aspect. And then, of course, around us, you will find that pressures are usually on lowering our, ourselves, pulling down our vibrations. So that's very easy. Pulling down the vibrations, moving downwards is very easy. But moving upwards is very difficult. Just as physically moving upwards is difficult, similarly, as far as our vibrations, as far as our consciousness is concerned, also moving upwards requires more effort, more, uh, you know, choice or willpower and so on. So as it is, you know, the, the dice are loaded in favor of the downward movement. And then if we do whatever we do with our breath and energy and add to it, we will make, make it more difficult for ourselves to move upwards or to move our consciousness upwards. Now, why is moving our consciousness higher important? <laughs> in, in Sanatan Dharma or in Hinduism, <laughs> sorry, there are many there are many stories or there are many instances where they've mentioned how even devatas want to be born as human beings <laughs> sorry even devatas want to be born as human beings because this is one life form where many different levels of consciousness are easily available and one can go downwards it will bring, it will bring pleasure and it will bring uh, you know worldly interest and all that drama and so on and so forth but it will also tie us down karmically but if we are able to move our energy and our consciousness higher upwards it will free us in a sense, or gradually continue to free us from these bondages. We will become less dependent on physical uh, and, uh, you know, physical pleasures, for example, or, you know, things that, like the mind, you know, mind is drawn towards unnecessary drama. 
but as your energy moves up as your consciousness rises you will avoid you know this unnecessary drama and stuff like that also over time you may be actually able to overcome your dependence on physical physicality physical pleasures physical needs and so on quite substantially so that's why moving your energy upwards and using your breath to do this is probably one of the fastest or the easiest ways you can use to raise your consciousness so that's the reason why because at some point of time it's possible that somebody will suggest that you breathe in a different way and you might wonder whether you should or not and so on but i have given you the reason why you should breathe up the spine later of course you are free so you can make a choice uh, as you like but remember what i've tried to explain if you have any question i'll be very glad to answer I, yes aditi ji i i am not sure if i what i'm doing is what, what exactly should i see in myself if i'm breathing up the spine okay so see initially all you need to do is bring your attention to the tailbone mm -hmm. and pull yeah. the breath pull the breath up the spine when you try to pull the breath up the spine there is no guarantee that the breath is actually moving up the spine yeah there are i don't uh, there are certain uh, programs where i teach about different channels of breath uh, usually most people are aware of two channels one is along the center which is the one that we normally breathe as if you say if i say breathe in you will feel your breath moving in through the nostrils and then you might be able to chart the path or you might be able to notice the path that it's that the breath is taking and you might feel that this breath is moving somewhere along the center of your body down towards the maybe the belly button or even lower to the muladhar from the muladhar if you're able to pull the breath up the spine then slowly you will start working on the sushumna how much of your breath is actually moving up the spine maybe maybe question but at least if you are doing this if you are starting the process some movement has started some movement has started so if there are any blockages for example in the muladhara area or in the swadhisthana area slowly these blockages will start getting cleared slowly it's a slow process it's not as if it will happen in day one sometimes what happens is some people might know might might have the channel opened up to a certain point up to a certain chakra level or what whatever and not beyond so they might feel that the breath is moving up until say the middle of the spine or a, you know one part of the spine and so on it doesn't matter it's okay so if you continue to observe your breath if you stay with your breath you will get a sense whether it's moving up or down if you keep your belly very relaxed and of course the whole pathway for your breath including the tailbone area if you keep it very relaxed the movement up the spine will become easier how do you know you are feeling it you will get a sense that i felt something is happening there that's it that's all you'll get it's not as if there is a clear or uh, you know like a clear yeah. sign board or something as and and just continue doing it as this happens as your breath starts moving up the spine like i said it will start cleansing clearing the sushumna once the cleansing and the clearing of the sushumna begins it naturally has an impact on the chakras as well the chakras will begin to feel an impact once you're able to actually drive see let's let's say let's say the it's not but assume for a moment <laughs> assume for a moment this is the sushumna 
but if if the sushumna is blocked or whatever reason only a small tiny fraction is open and if a tiny amount of breath or tiny amount of air is moving upwards that movement over time over time will continue to work on it and continue to expand it the sushumna nadi is very interesting according to our rishis there are three nadis within the sushumna sushumna itself is a, is a very important nadi but within the within the sushumna also there are three nadis and as your breath becomes more and more and more and more subtle you begin to access those deeper levels of the sushumna how do you know it's happening one thing you will notice sometimes is that as your breath moves up the sushumna you will feel as as if there is a certain coolness moving up the spine like a cool air moving up the spine sometimes you'll get that in the beginning at least over time of course it may not stay but initially you might start feeling as if there is a cool breath moving up the spine yes sir i feel that okay sharmila ji is feeling that okay very good <laughs> so that's a sign that your sushumna is getting activated a little more see don't 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 hunt for it i don't tell this to people because then they start you know aiming for it hey i thought of telling you today actually uh, okay. that i am feeling the, like that like a fan is inside ah yes there we go <laughs> very good <laughs> very good so it's a very good sign sharmila ji okay if that is happening so shumna is getting activated you are accessing it continue doing it continue doing it continue doing it it's a, it's a journey it's not it's not a day long or week long or a month long or a few weeks few years also it because like i said within the sushumna there are three nadis what happens when you access the deeper levels of the of sushumna as your breath becomes more and more and more subtle it starts impacting your consciousness in a very beautiful way automatically things will start changing in your life it doesn't mean challenges will stop challenges will be there because challenges are what help to wake us up to shake us up to wake us up so challenges are an important part of life challenges will come in their own way every level of uh, consciousness every level of chetna will come with its own share of uh, challenges so don't let them scare you put you off or whatever take them in your stride if the challenge comes the path through the challenge or a solution to the challenge will come because ultimately there is a higher self inside you and your higher self is very very keen that you move towards it if you sometimes i say, I, i tell people there are only two directions in life and they are both along your spine one is the path upwards to the higher self and one is the path downwards if you like to the lower self like we were discussing a little a few minutes ago lower self the movement is very easy you know the, a lot of drama and lot of excitement and lot of you know physical physicality and physical pleasures and so on and so forth but then they come with their own challenges you get stuck with them it's not as if that ple- that pleasure of the physicality will last forever even that will not happen if you if you indulge too much for example in your taste buds Uh, something will develop inside the body you know some kind of illness some kind of uh, some kind of imbalance so it's not as if you'll be able to continue enjoying that also and as far as the mental issues mental things are concerned if you allow the drama then those very people those very things those very situations that bring you pleasure today will bring you immense pain tomorrow so <laughs> whatever you run towards today will will make you want to run away from itself tomorrow <laughs> so <laughs> what shall we do what what should we do continue moving upwards 
Aditi ji, you're looking very pensive. There, are, there is something, some thought process going on inside you. Would you like to voice it? Uh, no, it, it's. Uh, I was. I've been reading something the past couple of days. A young mm. man writing about how. Uh, so the name of the book, I don't remember it very clearly, but it is something like "Don't take everything you think seriously." Mm. And mm. more, a lot of what you've been saying, I was like, mm. how come it happens that I'm on the one hand attending these mm. sessions with you and I'm reading a book that mm. also kind of has the same message. Mm. Of course, uh, it does not refer to itself as a spiritual book or so on and so forth. But then that's just a matter of labeling. Mm. But then that's true. I mean, he 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 yesterday or today it was actually about you'll understand that your own thinking is your own enemy and mm. it's in completely mm. in your hands how mm. not to let that happen and so yeah. on so forth so it's just we were all... discussing this yesterday was it yeah yeah yeah, ah. yeah it's, it's been going on and it's been going on kind of parallelly so on my way to the ah. office and back i listened to this because reading is difficult so i'm mm. getting used to all audio books and stuffs of that kind okay. and then it's the Ah, that, so right. synchronicities, you know, there is a certain magic to synchronicities. Yeah. So if yeah. you notice them, there is a message in them. See, again, please, it's not just because I'm saying it or just because a book is saying it or whatever, does not make anything true or false or whatever. You let your own life, your own insights, your own awareness guide you. Evaluate. Evaluate whatever is going on. See. Sharmila ji has something to say. Yes, Sharmila ji. Sir, can you put the legs down? I think I'm feeling the yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, of course. Of course. You've done it for 15 minutes or so or 20 minutes perhaps. So no problem. Yes. So lie down and keep it like this? Yeah. If you like, you can keep it like this. Continue to move your breath up the spine. Yeah. And notice. See, this is a, this is a very relaxing posture anyway. But allow the belly to be relaxed. Vasanti ji has become meditative. She is uh, <laughs> into meditation almost. Yes, Aditi ji. So, uh, anything that, else? That, that's all. Okay, it's just okay, the okay. synchronicity as you mentioned. Yes. That No, that, that's it. Yeah. yeah. So, that's nice. So, there's a message in it for you. <laughs> take, it, <laughs> take it there. And uh, yeah. I think the bigger synchronicity was you in the MRI machine the day before you know, this course started. Or the first day that the course started, and you did the Hanuman Master yeah. Breath on your own. You yeah. didn't know it was Hanuman Master Breath, but you did it. Yeah, I think that breath happened yeah. to you. Yeah, it happened. Yeah, I wasn't even doing it. It it happened. Yes, it just happened. Yeah. And... So that is what happened with me as well. When I had my attack mm -hmm. of fibromyalgia, and I prayed to Hanumanji, Hanumanji, do something about it. And then two nights later, I automatically breathe in this way. And when that breath happened on its own, suddenly, in the middle of night, I'm struggling to fall asleep. You know, that pain is so terrible. I'm tossing, turning, right, left, etc. And then suddenly I take that breath and I notice that there, because I'm a breath watcher, I notice it. So I notice that there is a small ek paisa, do paisa ka impact. But an impact. Why do I notice? Because I'm so connected with my breath and I've been connected with my breath for a long time. So then I noticed, I noticed, you know, little things that may escape most people's uh, notice otherwise. Right. But because I'm aware of it, therefore I catch. And then when I caught it, I tried a little more and I said, Haan, kuch to farak parra. just that much. Kuch to farak parra. It's subtle. It's so, it's so small, but it's there. And then I continued with it the next morning when I did my morning exercises and all. And then I continued a little more and a little more and I said, Farak Parra. Again, nothing substantial, but Farak Parra. To me, that was enough. <clears throat> Ki farak parra. So I caught on, I continued, continued. And fibromyalgia sometimes stays with people lifelong. But for me, it was like, nine. I, I wrote about it at that point of time, I'll share the article somewhere. I'll find it, I'll share the article in the group. Are you in the group, Aditi ji? In the HMB group? No, no. no. Uh, okay. I'll take the details from my mother. Yeah. Yes. yes. So that's what happened. And uh, the, the, 
हनुमान जी इज कॉल्ड पवन सुत हनुमान द सन ऑफ द गॉड ऑफ विन सो देर इज द कनेक्शन बिटवीन एयर ब्रेथ हनुमान जी एंड द पाथ दैट आई हैव सेट अपॉन यू नो यूजिंग द ब्रेथ एज अ एज अ एज माय पर्सनल फिजिशियन इफ यू लाइक यस अरुणा जी इफ यू टायर्ड यस यस प्लीज यू स्टे लॉन्ग वेरी गुड yeah if you can sit in vajrasan that's also a very great asan if your varicose veins can handle it otherwise no so uh insights keep coming hanuman ji i think you know just as that time the one day one day i was driving uh, for my walk in the morning i drive to a walk <laughs> which is sad but <laughs> because the lakes are far away <laughs> yeah. but anyway so as i was driving there and i was doing my hanuman chalisa and like an insight hanuman ji says allow more relaxation in the belly area you know it's like like an insight i'm doing my hanuman chalisa it's like hanuman ji saying allow your belly to be more relaxed and i caught on to that i it wasn't like allow the belly to be more relaxed and i let go at that i held on to that and i held on to that and i continued therefore i say there are many many deeper and still deeper and still deeper levels of relaxation in that muladhar in in the manipura area in that belly button area many of our karmic issues etc are connected here and see remember this is where life began at the belly button this is where the navel is this is where you know my uh, a child's connected to the mother and that sort of a thing so that is the beginning of life you know the very seeds of life are there and as we grow this in many ways this is a, this is the center of our being we think the center of our being is the brain or some say heart or whatever but i think there is a case that actually it is in the in the in the navel area so there are a lot of karmic issues the question of karma is also very beautifully understood or you know uh, explained in uh, uh, sanatan dharma prarabdh you know which is old like a karmic whole like a backlog of karmic uh, connections etc and the other karmic stuff that we do that we've collected over a few maybe a few lifetimes or whatever sanchit karma and so on so there are many ways of looking at it and, and it makes so much sense because after all we are impacted by everything that we have experienced in some way or our ancestors have experienced in some way because that is part of our genes so to that extent there is that karmic connection and we need if we need to move ahead what is a karmic connection it's like an it's like something like it's like an anchor it's holding you back you are trying to move ahead or let's say you're like a balloon or you know you want to soar into the sky but there is a there are there is a thread or there are many threads that are tying you down they're not letting you go up beyond a certain point as you break these different threads you are able to soar higher and higher and higher so that's what the karmic uh, connections are they hold us back from reaching our highest potential sorry this has become a little bit of a different <laughs> thing but anyway so uh, any any question shall we do a little bit of the anulom vilom with the same breath yeah hmm? yeah so the first two fingers at the base of the thumb right the thumb is at the right uh, nostril try to do the movement breathe out with the left belly relaxed breathe out up the spine breathe in up the spine block the left out with the right up the spine and then out with the left up the spine Yeah, Vasanti ji. Uh, this is for Vasanti ji more specifically because she has done another kriya called Shwasko Shuddhi kriya. 
So Vasanti ji, uh, yeah. remember in the Shvasko Shuddhi Kriya also, we do the Anulom Vilom. Yes, we do. Yeah. Day three, right? Yeah. In that, again, like the others, we first begin by just rotating the breath. And then we add a few squeezes. But since you are using your your uh, sushumna now, allow the squeezes to happen up along the sushumna. I, I think it is difficult in the beginning at try. least. But I, yes, yeah, try. I'll try. I'll try. I'll little try. by little, it'll happen. You'll notice the impact. When you do the when you do the squeezes up the sushumna, because see, the muscles along the sushumna, there, there aren't very many muscles that can help you do the squeezing well. So therefore, you are you are right when you say it's difficult. But when you do it, and something will happen, you will find that your that your breath becomes immediately much much easier. Okay. As you do that, as you do that, you'll find that your breath becomes smoother, easier, immediately. So try. No, 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 Vasanti ji, you're doing something wrong. No, no. Uh, uh, uh. Don't use so much pressure. Okay. So when you're doing the, when you're doing just the breath, allow that breath to move up and down. The first part. In the second part, you do the exhale with a little squeeze. Mm -hmm. Allow the squeeze. And in the third part, you will do squeezes at the different chakra levels. Mm -hmm. Watch, watch the video again, uh, the, okay. the Shvaspur Shuddhi Kriya video, and then include whatever we are doing now. Then, abhi mat kariya. Abhi ab thoda jada pressure laga rahe. I don't think that will be good. Me thodi confused ho ho gayi hu. Mere samajh mein nahi aa raha hai. Yes, 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 yes. Pick se samajh mein nahi aa raha hai. It is the pressure that you use in the is in the huffing technique. Yeah. It is in the huffing technique that you do. <laughs> Yeah. So am but I supposed to no, do huffing no, no, or not? Not just you not, to use okay. One okay. second. With Anulom Vilom, there is no huffing. Uh -huh. So I got confused. Yes. Then huffing is yeah. huffing is part one. Hmm. Then there is the complete yogic breath. Similar techniques, but with the complete yogic breath. Ab dekhi na video. Follow with the video. Otherwise, you know yes, yes, yes. your mind will uh, create confusion. I didn't get you first. I thought I have to do hopping also. No, 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 no. no. Hopping is different. Yeah, hopping is different. Hai. Okay. I got a pain in my neck. I did something wrong. Apne. You put this pressure, that is why this happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, chala no, no. Just, uh -huh. haan, chala jayega, just be easy. Allow your breath to happen aram se. I'm sorry, I didn't explain it very well then. No, my grasp is much less. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter. I mean, stay relaxed. Continue, continue to move your breath up the spine. Yeah, ek bar, ek bar anulom vilom Just do your normal Hanuman master breath. Yeah. Cleanse that area. Clear that area. Om.
Yes, Aditi ji. All good. All, all good. But Anulom, Anulom, I first exhale and then inhale from the left nostril yes. first, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, Aruna ji. I'm Today you see. Okay. Today you are very pensive. You've not said a word since the beginning. <laughs> no, no. I feel too much freshness. Uh, oh, beautiful. Start of lecture. Before starting of stage session, oh. I feel more freshness now. After Arre, being That's beautiful. That's nice. Hmm. Continue with this and see, you know, how uh, your condition, especially your varicose vein. I think you are also basically varicose veins, right? Your problem is basically varicose veins. My problem is uh, too much same as uh, Sharmila ji told um, earlier. Yes. Yeah. Uh, same problem. Uh, yeah. Now, but I, the pains are less. Uh, the, oh, the pains are less pain. already. Okay. Only pains are less. Sometimes uh, the yeah. problem uh, takes severe uh, attack. Uh, the, knee, behind the knees, the bulgy yeah. veins are appearing. The bulgy veins are starting appearing before six months. Oh. But uh, the veins is the right uh, outer thigh and mm -hmm. ankles and uh, yep, leg sparse. Yeah. They start appear like the oh. outer thigh, right outer thigh. Okay. Mm, the uh, blue veins uh, appears just before 10 to 12 years ago. At oh. that time, whenever I sit in uh, too much time in meetings, like I'm working woman in office, yes. uh, one to two hours whenever I, I sat, mm. uh, then I feel uneasiness, like mm. is there, is there, is there, is there, is there, Position, hmm. position hmm. uh, hmm. uh, back extension exercise hmm. hmm. uh, hmm. to start hmm. start hmm. to appear behind the knees hmm. and sometimes there are much pains sometimes less pains okay okay hmm. to karte rahiye dheere dheere aap hmm. again Initially, small amount of difference, small difference, but very useful. Hmm? So sorry. Hmm. Target Kadiga ki medical in about 15 20 days at least. If you can share a short uh, testimonial of your experience. Uh, if there is a change, if there is an improvement, have you taken pictures of your varicose veins ever? Uh, I don't have, but uh, now I can take pictures. Okay, okay. Uh, if you take it, then you'll, you'll be able to. Haji? Yeah, yeah, of course. Can I of, course. With you? of course. You can share with me. And if you give me permission, I will also share with others so that they feel, uh, okay. you know, that this is the change. And if I share, I may, I may not use your name if you don't want me to use your name. If okay. you give me permission to use your name, I'll use your name. Otherwise not. But yes, it's good to know, you know, this is how it was before I started. This is how it has changed over time. Because there is a vis visual aspect to varicose veins. There are conditions which which cannot be shown visually, right? Like sciatica. Sciatica, there is no visual, uh, you know, yeah. change. Okay. It's just an internal thing. Yeah. Is it better uh, here, uh, Vasanthi ji? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll be better. I'll do some more neck exercises. It will go. Yes. Do your neck neck exercises, but do it with the Hanuma, Hanuman master breath. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, more powerful. Sharmila ji, you want to say something? No, sir. No? Right. So, I think we've covered what we needed to cover for today. And uh, to just continue doing this. And whatever comes to your notice, share with me. And in time, I'll be looking forward to also a more uh, detailed kind of a you know report from you if 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 it has helped you
if it has not helped you of course you can say that also but if it has helped you then definitely you know it'll because every every participant who gains from this and when they talk about it or when they share their experiences encourages others also to take advantage of it and this is such a beautiful thing here there is no medication there is no there is nothing which is in any way harmful to you or can affect you negatively and so on so if breath helps you overcome these things once you understood the power of breath and once you healed of one or two or three conditions or ailments or diseases with the breath it will give you the strength to explore deeper to see what more can be done with that and then like i said for me breath is my uh, personal physician so <laughs> who knows it could become yours as well and that's a wonderful thing you know because the more you are freed of uh, depending on you know toxic medication you know because medication often heals one thing but creates problems in other areas so so they are toxic in that sense right shall we stop for today yeah aditi ji you wish to say something no i just wanted to ask so yeah. normally if i'm doing this fine these six days fine but after that then would you suggest that i do something like maybe 15 into 2 3 sets of uh, anulom vilom and then even better anulom vilom to aap jitna kar sakte ho karo okay and then when you combine anulom vilom with the hanuman master breath see mm -hmm. first thing is of course that you are channeling your breath and you are therefore creating more pathways for energy in your body so shumna is the is the single most important nadi we've already seen that or i've already mentioned that the more active your sushumna nadi becomes the more it will help to invigorate your chakras any invigoration of your chakras will impact your organs because these chakras are directly connected with different chakra uh, different organs the muladhar is connected with a cert certain set of organs the swadishtan is connected with a certain set of organs similarly manipura anahat etc so as your chakras get activated and more energized they will have a salutary effect on on organs connected more directly with them so it will bring an overall improvement in the health condition and so on prostrate is a, a problem that men suffer and i i read somewhere recently that sometimes it affects women also but usually it would affect women maybe at a later a later age where it kind of you know uh, causes a disturbance in the flow of urine for men it's quite a serious problem uh, prostate and so on there were there were occasions when i felt i could be heading in that direction and when a sonography was done they they found that my uh, i think one of the things they notice is how after after urinating how much fluid remains in the system or remains in the bladder that is one of the one of the metrics to see you know if there is a problem that is building so there was a certain amount of fluid being retained but now i feel if i go for a check up and i think i plan to go for a check uh, in the next in the near future somewhere i want to see more particularly for that if there is a change in that just as my copd was you know cured or at least almost cured and so on and numerous other conditions i feel there will be a change here as well so therefore you know prostrate related issues that i felt earlier i don't feel them now but then my breath work techniques are very advanced you know it's not it's not as if you understood all the breath work techniques here it's a, it's a path you started on it's a process that you started with but i go much much more advanced so therefore i can see advantages or benefits in many areas but i like to see and understand this and evaluate i can share whatever has come in my experience but it's only when i'm able to share it in a clear way that others can take advantage of it that it becomes useful to people in general so that's the goal
that's the aim. Hmm? That's the power of breath. So, shall, shall we end? Yeah. Thank you. Have a beautiful day. And I will see you tomorrow at 6. Namaste, sir. Namaste. 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 Namaste.